Charles, Germany. Um, and today we're going to be installing Vista. So we'll pop the DVD in. And wait while well, Windows is loading some files. my dog barking in the background. <laughs> hmm. Um, on the initial uh, installation screen, we'll s just select the defaults. Um, notice, if we wanted to here, we could go to Recovery Console. If we needed to repair the master boot record of the file system, or maybe the BCD data store. In this case, we're just going to select install now. Now, um, here I can put in my product key. Um, I have a key for home premium, but we'll do Vista Ultimate. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, in, in this instance, um, I may get in trouble if I share that with the rest of the planet. So, <laughs> so one of the nice features about, you know, Vista, um, I'm going to select not to automatically activate it online, and I'm going to choose to install it without a key. Now, what that will do is give me a 30-day trial period to make up my mind, you know, Microsoft does that, so you can, it gives you a little flexibility. You can make up your mind about which version you want to get, um, you know, the kind of licensing that you may want to purchase. Do I want to enter my product key? No, I'm going to say no. And then it'll allow me to choose the particular flavor of Vista that I want to install. Notice all of the different additions. There's Vista Business, Home Basic, Home Premium. This particular version is usually what you get under the OEM uh, contract or license that a lot of PC manufacturers have with Microsoft. So if you buy a new PC, um, it's probably got the Vista Home Premium version on it. If you pay a little bit extra, then you may get the Vista Ultimate on it. Um, Vista Ultimate is probably the, you know, I guess the cream of the crop, so to speak. It has all of the features that, that we want to look at today. So we'll choose Vista Ultimate. Um, I've selected the edition of Windows that I purchased. And we'll go ahead and accept the license agreement. Yes, yes, yes. Firstborn child and uh, other things to Microsoft. Um, if we had a multi-boot configuration and there were other operating systems, we would have the choice to upgrade, maybe XP Professional. Um, in this case, there are no other operating systems, so we're going to go just with a clean install. And that would be custom. Alternatively, again, we could do that if we had a dual boot or multi-boot setup. I'm just going to allow Vista to select my unallocated space partition it with the NTFS file system um, and install Vista there. So I'll go ahead and select next. We'll go forward. And Vista will begin the process of copying files. And this can take quite some time. You'll notice down here, you'll see collecting information, installing Windows. The different stages will appear down here. And this will sort of give you a progress report of what's going on here. So we'll leave off. Uh, it's copying the installation files. We'll, we'll leave off here and we'll come back in a minute because this could take you know some time, quite some time, and we're limited to 10-minute clips on, on YouTube. We've come back now in our Vista installation, and we're through expanding files. Um, took quite some time there. You still go out and look for updates. Any possible available updates? Um, And 
Windows needs to restart. Go ahead and restart. If you've not taken the Vista CD out of the drive, you may want to do that. Or at least be careful not to press the key so that you boot from it on boot or on startup. And here we are booting. Just preparing to start for the first time. trying to initialize uh, a higher resolution uh, configuration of the graphics driver. <laughs> and here comes the boot up screen. Just completing the installation tasks. And here's our step down here. Um, 